What's up you guys, it's Ruben from UI UX Creative. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use one of the latest features of Adobe XD. It is called 3D Transform. Uh, with this new feature, you can rotate objects in a 3D space, which allows you to present your designs in perspective. It's a pretty cool dope uh, feature, so let's get to it. So once you are in Adobe uh, XD, as you can see here, uh, this is something that I created uh, a few months ago. I created these awesome, like, uh, I, I was feeling creative that day. So I created this uh, this mobile designs for, for music and guitars and stuff like that. So we're gonna use this as, a, as our main thing to animate in a 3D uh, space. So here on the right, as you can see here, this is a new section called Transforms. And this, the 3D Transform, the little cube icon, this is what we're gonna be using. This is what we are going to be using today. Uh, so let's get to it right away. Uh, so for this one, let's convert this into a component. And we're going to do the same thing for this screen as well. And what we're going to do for this one, we're going to create a, like a background. Uh, let's like about there. We're going to pick a color here. Let's go dark. And also let's grab one of these corners and just like pull it to, to create that radius right there, which is 63. And let's, uh, let's pull this back. So that way we can see our design. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, let's do this. Okay, this is kind of nice. That is kind of nice. So we're gonna do something like that. If we wanna center this whole thing, both of them, just select both of them and just click here, align center. And if we wanna center it vertically, perfect. This is great. I like this. Also, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just combine these two. Well, actually, let's create a drop shadow. Well, it's not called drop shadow, it's just a shadow. <laughs> Silly me. All right, so let's add a blur. And like about there is cool. Make it a little bit larger. And let's go this way. And the opacity Turn it down to, I don't know, 60 or something like that. Perfect. Okay, this is great. So what we're gonna do is just group the whole thing together. Uh, Command G or Control G on your PC. And we're gonna call this one. And what we're gonna do for the second one, we're gonna actually Copy this, uh, copy the uh, the rectangle in the background and also the shadow. We're gonna go here, we're gonna paste that in. And we're gonna put it below it. And if you wanna do the same thing and just like center this thing, just click on your on your file and then click on the the background that you created. Just center that. Perfect. And then what you're gonna do is just create like grab your component and your shadow, which is ellipse two in this case. I'm not gonna rename it. 
even though like I'd love to rename everything uh, for the sake of this video and make it like a lot faster. We're just gonna name this whole group uh, two. All right. So once you have that, still have still think like the shadows are way too pronounced. So I'm gonna just click and command and shift to select both. Even though you are you are in, in different uh, groups, you can do that. Um, and just like turn it down a bit more. The shadows are way too harsh. Okay, that's that's better right there. All right, so are you ready to see the magic? So let's do this. Let's uh, grab this whole artboard and duplicate it, right? Then select your group and click on that little icon there that says 3D transform. And you're gonna have this uh, awesome like axis to, to rotate it like uh, top and bottom or sideways. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn it sideways. Look at that, that is sick. That is pretty cool. So for the first one, we're gonna do this. But then for the second one, we are going to do uh, this. Oh, this is awesome. And then we're just gonna move it, like, and center that. Okay, that's good. And if we wanna see this, like, animate, animated, just click on prototype, click on the actual file, and then go here into your transitions, and then the animation should be, uh, let's see, auto anime. And then the easing will be is uh, should we do snap? Let's do snap and then uh, let's do 0.6. That's great. So let's let's try that. See how that looks. If I click on it. Ooh, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. So let's go back again and just like in the transform, just like. If we're gonna go back again to, you know, to the way it was, just just click on click on your item, your your group, and then just grab that and put it back to the to the first one. All right, so let's let's play this, and then click back. Oh, this is awesome. This is legit pretty cool. Like, look how how sick this looks. And you can do a lot more with this. This is just a, a little intro to you guys and how to use this 3D uh, transform. Um, you can use it in a different way. We're gonna try now uh, turning this into, uh, instead of going, let's see. Instead of going, uh, we can also like make it like pretty big uh, in perspective, like like towards you or you know like all the way to the back. Or are we gonna just turn it uh, this way instead? That's cool. Center that. Go back again and play it. Ooh, this is awesome. Look at that. Look, everything, like, even like the shadows are moving, which is, you want that. And, and, and the way um, I group things, it was because I wanted to, all the elements within your 3D uh, transform, um, they're supposed to be inside that, inside that group. So that way you can manipulate, um, manipulate the shadows and, and your object and whatever you have in there. But that's pretty much it, guys. What do you think? Um, this is pretty dope. I think um, if Adobe uh, continues to improve Adobe XD and adding like this cool features, um, uh, this is gonna just uh, be one of the greatest like applications to do everything. Wireframes, designs, um, interactive prototypes, 
as you can see. So I really recommend it. Um, thank you so much, guy. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thumbs up, like, so I can continue to create this amazing um, tutorials for you guys. So thank you, and I see you next time. Bye-bye.